Hey party people, welcome back. It is another throwback Thursday, but it is also opening night for the football season. That's right, kickoff is tonight. Yes! I'm proud of you! That is Chiefs versus Ravens. I do think the Chiefs are going to win. You can let me know down in the comments who you think is going to win tonight's game. I do think over 50 points are going to be scored. Last I checked the over... Uh, well, the over-under was uh, 48 and a half. I'm going to take the over on this one. I think there's going to be a lot of points being scored tonight. Uh, but I could be completely wrong. Anyway, that is for the NFL. For us right now, we are ripping once again 1987 Top Super Glossy Minis. We are going to rip open six more packs. Let's just take those six out right now. There is six right there. Look, I'm getting good at that. Uh, and our goal with this, uh, since these cards really aren't worth anything, is to get some complete sets out of it. Now, in stack one, we are only eight cards away from our first complete set. Hopefully, hopefully we can finish that tonight. Our next stack, uh, we're about 35 cards away. So I doubt we're going to get this tonight. Uh, really hoping we can get the missing eight cards. I don't even know who's missing in those. Uh, and we do actually have a third stack, but good Lord, we are not going to... I mean, we'll add to this, but we are not really going to be getting... We'll be lucky to get one or two sets out of this. But either way, it's going to be fun ripping. I like checking the stats of cut players I haven't checked yet. Uh, but we're going to rip open six of these cards. Don't forget, comment down below who you think is going to win tonight's football game. Again, if I were a betting man, my money would be on the Chiefs and on the over. Uh, as long as the over, you know, it, it, it's 48 and a half, I think it was. I think it's going to be like a 52, 53 point game. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, anyway, this is going to be fun. We're going to rip this open when we come back, so stick around. All right, party people, here we go. It is pack number one. Can we get some of the cards we are missing? Let's toss that aside. Ricky Henderson, that right off the bat, I think is one we're missing. 64, I don't think. Anyway, Hall of Famer, we'll put that there. Jesse Barfield, I don't remember pulling that one either. We're looking good so far. Mike Witt, we've pulled before. There is our contest card. Uh, Spring Fever Baseball. Trip for four to 88 Spring Training Camp of your choice. That's a bit past. A little expired. We got Todd Worrell. What do you got for your stats? Ooh, led the league in saves. Oh, and finished 60 games. And number third in total games with 74. Not too shabby, sir. Rob Deere pulled that one. Dwight Gooden we've pulled a couple times. And Willie Wilson we've pulled a couple times. All right, so we did get one Hall of Famer out of here. Let's check what stats they have for Ricky Henderson. Probably something with steals. Yep. Number one in stolen bases, 87. And look, check that out. 153 games. Uh, almost a full season. Might have been a full season in the 80s. I, I don't quite know when they expanded to 162. But batting average 263. He had 160 hits. 28 home runs. Good year for him. His rookie year was 8 years prior. So to hit 30 home runs... Uh, when the previous, you know, seven or eight years you only hit, whoop, uh, only hit 70 total. I mean, that that's quite a boost in production. Not saying what it is or isn't. As far as I know, he's never been accused of that, so I'm going to leave it untainted. <clears throat> Pack number two, though, is about to get ripped open. And hopefully we will get more of those missing players without ruining the edges. 
John Canglosi, I think, is one. I don't remember pulling that name at all. But I think I have it. Stolen bases, second. Tied for second with 50. Not too shabby. 50. So that would have been his rookie year. Because if you look here on games, he had 137 and 86. But only 142 lifetime. So his rookie year was 86. No, 50 steals for a rookie's not bad even now. Phil Bradley. Gary Gaetti. Contest card. Yeah. Feels like one always stuck, gets stuck. There's Willie Wilson, Kirby Puckett's a Hall of Famer. Our boy Mike Scott and Teddy Higuera. Let's take a look at Teddy's stats. Number two in ERA at 279. Four shutouts tied for second. Third in victories with 20. And third third in complete games with 15. He also ranks six in strikeouts with over 200. I mean, good lord, 15 complete games. I mean, this was 40 years ago, but still, it wasn't that long ago. Baseball has changed a lot. There are managers who won't let pitchers pitch more than 80, 90 pitches in a game, and it wasn't that long ago where pitchers were pitching the whole game. I, I remember reading stats about, like, Louis Tion throwing, like, 270 pitches in a game. Like, pitchers used to complete games on a much more regular basis. And their careers tended to be pretty long, too. Louis Tion was in the league for, like, 15 years. And if he's throwing 200 pitches a game, I don't think it really hurt him. There's Ricky Henderson again. Add him to the Hall of Fame pile. Jesse Barfield, I think we didn't we pull that one already just today. Number one in home runs with 40 for the American League, fifth in runs in 107, and fifth with 108 RBIs. Second in lot, lots of top 10 stats right there. Tenth in doubles with 35, batted 289. Not bad. Another guy that seemed to have surged in power uh, in 86. You look at 158 games, but lifetime, 715. Lifetime home runs, 128. Home runs just that season, 40. You know, I want to say he just had a really good year, but I don't know. The rampant steroid use of the 90s really tainted me. I don't know about you guys. But I, I look at those and I get a little skeptical. But I want to give the dude the benefit of the doubt, so good job. Got Vince Coleman, Tony Fernandez, getting cards stuck together now. Tom Candiotti with the mustache, and Pete O'Brien. Well, I think other than the Ricky Henders. <coughs> <coughs> Good God. I guess other than the Ricky Henderson, there really wasn't anything in there. So I guess it's on the pack four. I think we've added two cards. I think I think there were two new cards. Uh, we only needed to get eight more new ones. We, we had to get the eight we were missing. I have a checklist. I just don't want to look at it. Fernando Valenzuela. He was big in the 80s. Not a Hall of Famer, though. First in wins, first in complete games, second in strikeouts, third in shutouts. Man, not too shabby, sir. And his ERA was just over three. Not bad at all. Good year. Popular player. I don't believe he's a Hall of Famer, though. Or at least not yet. Gary Gaetti again and Gary Carter. He could be one of those guys like Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly's not in the hall, but, you know, you're going to get those uh, those decade committees or whatever player committees, and they could vote him in. You never know. There's Wally Joyner, George Bell, Bob Horner, Gary Pettis. 
and it's not a name I really know. Let's check. Tied second stolen bases with 50. All right, he was in the league for a bit, 451 games, but the rookie tied him, so maybe, I don't know, maybe that was a higher pick rookie. I have no idea. Either way, we're moving on because neither of them are Hall of Famers, and I don't know if I need those cards. Here we are, pack number five. Come on. There we go. Top and bottom. Man, for, uh, for almost 40-year-old packs, these used to be ripping really easy. Now it's getting a little more of a pain. Tim Raines, he is a Hall of Famer. Put you right there, Mr. Raines. Donnie Moore. And Dale Murphy is not a Hall of Famer, I don't believe. What kind of stats do you have, sir? Fourth in the home run. <laughs> Runs with 29, and there we go. We have a video because I dropped another freaking card. Fifth in triples, eighth in walks, tenth in slugging percentage, tenth in game winning RBIs. Played in 160 games. 266. I believe Dale Murphy hit like 398. I don't think he quite hit the 400 mark. But I know he was in the league for a while and he was known for, for having being a pretty decent player. Not a Hall of Famer though. There we go. Speaking of guys who aren't Hall of Famers, but will end up, I think, eventually, he is going to get let in. Look at that. 238 hits. Tied first game-winning RBIs. Second in batting average at 352. Dude lost out to Wade Boggs, who was in the Hall of Fame. Third in runs. Third in RBIs. That's a hell of a year. And 162 games. So they had 162 game seasons by then. Not too shabby there. And 31 home runs. You know, his rookie year was what, 83? So in, in, in three or four seasons, 93 home runs, it's not bad. Not bad, sir. You're not in the Hall of Fame, but I think you're going to be. So we'll put you there for now. Bob Horner, Steve Bedrosian. Here he is, Kirk Gibson, World Series. Oh, we've seen this one before. Uh, but the, yeah, game-winning World Series home run for the Blue Jays. Uh, has a ring with the Blue Jays, so he's, you know, he is a world champion, but he is not a Hall of Famer. And just like that, we're hitting our last pack of this opening. Uh, here we go. I will put down in the comments how many cards we were able to add to our stacks. So if you're curious, go check out the comments. But if you want to wait, you can do that too. There's Gary Carter, Ron Darling, fortunate or unfortunate last name, Mark Langston. I don't I think this might be a new one. Maybe. First in strikeouts, 245. Also, third in game started and 10th in innings. But he went 12 and 14. ERA of almost 5. Nine complete games. Wow. Maybe he just didn't have uh, the offensive support behind him on days he pitched. Maybe. Floyd Humans. We've pulled that player before. I don't know if we've pulled this card before. There he is. Third in strikeouts and uh, fifth in shutouts. 33 games, 13 and 12, but an ERA of three and a half. Uh, some decent pitchers coming. Bill Doran, whoops. Uh, Sid Fernandez. And Dave Smith are our last two cards this opening. Sid Fernandez, fourth in strikeouts with 200. Career of 451 strikeouts. Not bad through two seasons. Uh, and Dave Smith, 
third in saves. He's got 337 career strike uh yeah, career strikeouts. But as a reliever, and he's played in a lot more games than a starter would. But not too bad. Neither of them are Hall of Famers, though. We got a short stack of Hall of Famers today. We did get Don Mattingly, though. We did get some guys who potentially in the future could end up in the Hall, but they're not there now. There's Tim Raines. We actually haven't looked at the back of his. Here's the reason why Hall of Fame. First in batting average, first on base percentage, third in hits, third in stolen bases with 70. Additionally, third in triples with 10. Not a bad year. Now, again, this is National League. All right, Don Mattingly was, what, 350-something or 350? Uh, and was in second because Wade Boggs was 357 or 362, something like that. Uh, batted even better. But National League... 151 games. Lots of hits. Not too shabby, sir. That's why you're Hall of Fame bound. We got two Ricky Hendersons. And a, wow, only four Hall of Fame cards of three players. Not great in terms of Hall of Famers, though. But it was still fun opening this up. I hope you guys had fun, too. And if you did, hey, don't forget... Like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Really boosts my ego, makes me feel good about myself, but it also really helps out the channel. We want the channel to keep growing, and it can't grow without your support. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, but whether you subscribe or not, you've watched this video. So I do want to say thank you to everyone for watching, and I will catch all of you guys on the next video. See ya, and good luck to your teams this week, unless you're playing the Patriots. I hope you lose. Not going to happen, but I hope so. See ya.